Welcome back. I've been practicing figures. I I put this little a video of this on uh, on Patreon, which I am now a member of. I uh, hope you support me. I, I'm putting a link on some of the videos to Patreon. It's for crowdfunding, so I hope we uh, get some response from it. Uh, so this is going to be a sort of a doodle doodling figures, more figures. I'm using a uh, a recab number 10 sable blend. Well there is some sable in that. It's a nice little brush actually and I've got a number 14 here as well. I don't know how they work these uh, numbers out because that's nowhere near as big as a, a number 14 Kalinsky sable that I got as a second. But anyway they won't all come out right, but it's it's great to practice these things. Um, and I've I've been learning from um, no, the burn under here somewhere. Ah, oh, there we are. Uh, I'll tell you about these paints in a moment. Uh, I've been learning from Trevor War, looking at a couple of videos he's got on painting figures in watercolor. But I'm on my own now, I'm, 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 I'm up and running. Some work better than others. Also, for proportions, I, I was using uh, Alfonso Dunn and the mannequin. And the mannequin is, I presume the mannequin is, is the figure that you make in, like in tubular, tubular arms or... Well, anyway, there, there's my mannequin, but it's learning to use the, the figure in the pro correct proportions, like the eight head figure. And once you get that in your head, um, by practicing hundreds of these things, you, you're then free to, to put your figures in any particular pose. And as long as they're approximately in proportion, they will look okay. I like my little group here, so, so the, the basis is, is to paint a little, keep the head small, well, relatively small, depends how big you want the figures. Sorry, oops, I've got a room here. Change my setup so that you can see more from the right hand. So I'll do a couple here, and I'll see if I can do some in a, with a tree on this page. This is, this is a doodle page, so we'll, I like the red because it stands out. Okay. So I'm going to put a bit of a blue jeans. Let the paint run a bit. That's not a particularly good one, is it? No. That will run. This brush does hold quite a lot of water. I'm not surprised to say. So we get figures in different angles, different poses. I think I'll put his arm a little bit. Okay, we'll do another one. Uh, just keep practicing them till you get the hang of it. Here we've got a figure coming forward. Let's have some grey. Now I'll tell you about the paints. Most of these are artist quality. Good to put little bits of shadow. Oh, 
and then you can put a bit of darker hair on the top. There, that's going away. So we can. And it's good to have a little gap between the head and the shoulders. Uh, so let's uh, just muck around the leaf for a moment or so. Yeah, the, the colours, these new pans here, one, two, three, four, five, these were made by, by Smoothie77. He's the guy that I like to mention because of the cup of tea because he does some brilliant uh, drawings, landscape drawings, and he shows how to do it on his channel. And he put me onto this uh, Patreon. It's about artists earning money from their work rather than when well, YouTube is, is not sort of what it was. Or at least that money seems to have gone down as the advertiser seems to be being cut back. Let's use a bit of a bit of green. But we upload the, the, the videos onto YouTube and then from there we make them private. So but we can edit them and stick them on uh, on the Patreon. All right, let's have black trousers in. I don't want to paint portraits or anything. I just want to be able to to make the figures more realistic. So I don't go in landscape. A subscriber or yeah, a subscriber. I think YouTube and uh, Facebook asked if uh, I thought it was good to put figures in a landscape. I think so many landscape paintings are devoid of figures that it leads me to believe that, like me, they didn't learn or practice the figures to put in a landscape. And sadly, that's my, been my problem. I've always done landscapes without people because I was scared of mucking the landscape up because I put a dodgy figure in. But because of <coughs> learning on YouTube, you can find out how all these proportions, they're quite simple. The head is one eighth of the body, halfway down the hip joints, the, uh, the, the wrist coincide with the hip joints, and from the hip joints to the bottom of the foot, there's another four heads. Then you can divide the knee, the two heads up, and so on. Once you get it in your head, uh, it, it gets easier. But I, I wouldn't mind getting a slightly finer brush with long hairs, but I can't always really see what I'm doing with it. But anyway, let's uh, see if we can do some figures and put a canopy or something on. Or a tree, a little tree, a couple of guys or loading a gent talking to each other. Yeah, so I'll have a nice red, red bit. I'm using my my uh, common not my common though no, my art, artist quality paints. Mostly from Jackson, Jackson Art. All right. My other one, the legs on. So these are, these are artist quality Winsor Newton powder made by smoothie. We've gum Arabic and not quite long enough is it? The head's too big for that. No, let's just bring those things down a little bit more. Okay, well too bad two ladies in there. Because then they would have big hair wouldn't they? No, 
no dress sense this one. Turquoise. That's just hooker's green mixed with uh, a bit of uh, a bit of cobalt. Just take that off there. All right, put the leggings in. You can see them. I've just rearranged my paints. All right, okay. Let's uh, put a tree. Uh, right, okay. That's a bit, bit of the green and a bit of the yellow. A bit of cad yellow or Windsor yellow. A bit dark with a bit of burnt sienna. Grey, burnt umber, and a bit of ultramarine. Right, let's put a little bit of, bit of grass around. dark on one side so let's just put a bit of burst yellow in a minute. This paper is a uh, fab not fabric it's a uh, uh, day around 140 pounds I bought a block of it um, a couple of weeks ago when I was down in Somerset Yandles I bought 50 sheet block of uh, 210 centimetres by 29 millimetres by 297 millimetres, just over eight and a half, eight, eight and a half inches by 11 and a half, thereabouts. Okay, so we're, we're, we're doing some trees here as well. There's more sort of sienna in that. So let's do a few little trees. The paper's quite fine, so Use the edge of the brush and we can put some darker green in there. Blue, bit of yellow. Underneath a bit more blue. A bit more sienna. Right, let's get a real good, good dark colour. So this is this is me doodling. It's quite dry today. <coughs> All with one brush. Okay. Uh, so they're, they're interesting little vignettes. Um, and by doing them, you, you get more. You get more proficient at it. I can put little figures around and about. That colour there is what Ted Western used to call filth. It's the best colour on the, on the on the box. Right, that's just quite nice. It's got, got green, it's good to have red, so I'll mix the red with a bit of uh, light red as well. Yeah, I've got a light, I've got a light red in here. It's there, that's the, that's that's uh, smooth as light red. Let's let's give it a test. Oh, look at that. Oh, straight away. It's a hard pan, but look how quickly that opened up. Wow. Oh, that's uh, magic. Magic. He's very kind of smoothie. He, he's helped me on on the time lapse videos that I made some time ago. 
and now he's helped me set up on on um, Patreon. Ha have a look at Patreon. There will be a link to it on on the video on this video. <coughs> this one won't be shown on Patreon. Excuse me, it's not right to have, to have have two competing. One is all more or less a, a, a modest, very modest subscription. But uh, I'm quite excited about it. I must say. Uh, we'll see where we go. Right, let's do some more trees. Let's see if we can do with this largest brush some pine. So let's have a bit of blue, a bit of burnt sienna. The burnt sienna doesn't yield too much, but pretty yellow in there. But plenty of blue. No. So I'll just draw, draw a, a little. Uh, Right. Now pines tend to come down or go out like that. So we'll just put in some using the point. More yellow, I think. Definitely using the hake, isn't it? Be easier probably with the uh, flat brush, or, or certainly with the hake. But I want to use my smaller brushes for this. Oh, let's back that with a bit of a uh, bit of nice yellow. Little things like that. Let's do some more. Do a winter tree as well. So what I like about winter trees is burnt umber and ultramarine. paper smoother than uh, than the uh, Fabriano and that's quite smooth. Don't really like that. Oh, it's sort of awesome. Covering it in right a bit there. That's a bit of a mess, that one. Right, let's, let's do another one. A more, if I can get more dry. That's the high spots. The better. Remember with your trunks, huh? They've got to carry a huge weight of branches and twigs and leaves. But if you do them too sparse, they'll probably fall over. 
A little bit better. Let's go to darker mix. I need my tea go cold. I'm not going to do much more than this. I'll do a few more figures dotted around. That's not good. Oh, well, they don't, don't all go wrong. Right, that's what I say. Uh, okay, let's put a bit of yellow in the next one, some spring green. Oh, chestnut, leave plenty of air if you can in these. So we'll darken that. Bit of umber. Under the spreading chestnut tree. I have to top up my palette before I pack up. Now, great big trunk on this one. Okay, that sort of thing. It would be better if I, it was dry because then the paint wouldn't. Uh, actually, you've got to do this with a very short, thick brush. There's more figures on there. A bit of sienna, a bit of, a bit of yellow. Messing about with trees rather than boats. Uh, let's put some more figures in. Put a number. Tiny with these ones. Just a bigger figure now, just to sort of round up the day. Okay, let's get a nice paint away. Too wet. Lights of brown trousers, I think. I mean. So his head's too big, so I'll do, do one more to make it a bit smaller head. And then we'll have a nice bit of red. It's 
a case of uh, doing them over and over and, and grow with the experience. Let's just get that leg down there a little bit. Okay, so I don't think they're too bad. Okay, right, well, um, apart from that blob there, that, that, that's a nice tree, it's a nice chestnut. These are okay. The figures up there are okay. Um, I'm quite pleased with that. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll clean my palace and... Uh, Right, well, I hope you've got some idea of how I, I go about painting. I'm not really used to using sables or round brushes for trees. I, I use the hake, but the hake won't uh, fit around that, those, uh, hard, those, those full pans of colour. So thanks for watching, I'll see you soon. Don't forget to look me up on, on uh, Patreon. Bye-bye.